This could be anywhere. A local football match in a dusty playground. But this is a shelter in Homs, a Syrian city desperately clinging to a fragile ceasefire. Until a few days ago, these people lived in the old city under siege. Since these new incidents started, we used the fireplace to cook. We never went out of the house. We never knew what was going on out there. Us women were not able to go out. I lost my husband two years ago. I've heard no news from him. We were together and he went out and then from that moment I have not heard from him at all. The UN brokered humanitarian ceasefire allowed them and 1400 others to leave. The governor wants the ceasefire extended as more people are trying to get out, including hundreds of young men. There are real concerns for their safety. Yesterday, 70 young men left the camp to go back to their homeland, and they can live wherever they wish. According to the instructions of Mr. President, and by his sponsorship, and according to the government's plan, we are working on settling things for all the young men who are here with us, and in particular those who have not been involved in the bloodshed. If they manage to leave, they too will become displaced. Many have made it into neighbouring Lebanon. There the residents are setting up new lives as refugees. From Homs, a city more than 2,000 years old, to a new home. This one, a tent city. Miriam Nahond, Al Jazeera.